Welcome back everyone to PGA Tour 2K23 with me, Crash Conroe. We're going to play Arbitrace today. This is a new course by Fisticuffs25, otherwise known as Scott Williams. And I'll read the description here. Welcome to Arbitrace, a demanding course characterized by deep bunkers, narrow fairways and tricky greens. This 3-12-3 track will challenge the upper tier players while still being enjoyable for the average player. So the first job for everyone uh, watching is to tell me what 3-12-3 track means because I'm not sure. I'm just going to play pin one. Everything is set to default except for the wind direction. Of course, I have the wind direction going a certain way because if you put it on default, it swells around and I don't like it. This is pretty new. Uh, I'm playing this two days after this course was published. So yeah, um, I can imagine not many people have uh, played this one yet. But let's get into it. Let's see what... Uh, Fisticuffs 25 has made for us here. So, uh, pretty calm wind. Seven miles an hour. And let's turn John off, shall we? Okay, John has been switched off. I have the commentary on for the career mode videos because it's a bit more of an, you know, an atmosphere, tournament atmosphere with the other commentators. But for these uh, solo rounds, I turn off uh, John McCarthy. Sorry, John. Lovely scenery already. There's a bit of a water hazard on this first hole on the left here. On the left there, uh, abandoned boat in the middle. I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to be climbing onto that from the from the uh, shore. I think they'll have to swim out to that. But all right, so the tee shot here, slightly downhill. I think if we hit this full, it might just reach that bunker or the rough on the left. So I'm going to dial this back a little bit. It's a pretty short hole, so I think we can afford to do that. Good swing. I'll probably be saying this every video, but I do play for the pull on the swing plane. So the swing you just saw was ideal. That's what I'm looking for. Nice and cozy, this course already. I like the I like the buildings in the background there. A little uh, set of uh, golf carts on the right. Yeah, I like it. I like it so far. I believe this uh, uh, Fisticuffs has made other courses in the past. I'm not sure if any of them have been used on TGC Tours tournaments. They are all on the website, but I don't think they've been used for any. Well, we're seeing the tough greens already. There's clearly quite a bit of movement on this. I'm not sure what the default speeds are on this course yet. But this is going to need a full sound wedge pitch. And the fast tempo is cancelled out by the intentional shank there. It just goes a little bit past the hole. And we're on 142, uh, 142 speeds here. Short birdie putt. We're off the mark with a birdie here. And yeah, even my guy is uh, admiring the course, looking around. So hole two is a par three. I don't know if that's the same boat or a different one. And there are some uh, some ducks and some fish hanging out as well. Yeah, I like it. I take it the designers don't do that. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Designers, let me know. Do you put the do you put the fish in the water? Do you put the fish in the water? Okay, or is that is that the game? <laughs> is that the game's job? Quite a big slope here. We could lose this ball to the left if we don't hit it hard enough. I think five iron will be fine as long as it's a good swing. And it is. That's pretty much what I was going for there. That's definitely going to get down there. No danger of going down the left slope. It is going to stay out to the right though. But hopefully that's not too much of a turner, that part. I think I've missed most of the break. Oh, okay, it is a little bit. Got a 23 foot up for the birdie here. Hopefully that's not short. It's got a chance. No, it is a little bit short. It's actually going to tail off to the left. Good effort. Well, yeah, definitely uh, wasn't lying about the greens so far. We've had uh, two pretty slopey greens. Thankfully, on hole one, we got our pitch shot right next to the hole. Yeah, quite a few large bodies of water just scattered around this course. So water will be in play a lot by the looks of it. That's a bit too much of a pull there on that swing plane. And with the slow as well, I think we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I go for pulls, but I don't really want to hit really big slows because that's not going to work out for me if I do both. Nice little kind of rest area there, just a bench uh, sitting up there. I think hole one is on the other side of that from what I remember. Maybe not, though. It's not the best of lies. I might need to hit a nine here. Pitching wedge is a little bit safer, though. And that's a really good swing, honestly. Slight fast. We get the pull. And what a shot that is. It does actually get over to where the hole is. But these slopey greens, it's probably still going to be a tough part from there. We'll see. Is that actually going to come off? It's going to come off. It's going to sit on the fringe. Of course, we can still putt this, which I will do. 
The two under three three. We get it. We get it. And I've got to say, guys, like, I've always been quite keen on putting from the fringes, even before they made the change to, you know, you always used to bring the marker back a lot. Like, you had to do it, otherwise the ball would go flying. And uh, even back then, I quite liked just putting from the fringe because I was no good at chipping in this game. But it's kind of... Um, my ability to putt from the fringes has continued in this game. I do, you know, I like them. I, I feel like I make quite a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's more about you've still got to judge the power, right? Because now it's kind of gone the other way. You have to add power onto those putts from the fringe now. All right, so hole four. Yeah, narrow fairway, especially where my driver carry lies. Like, look at that. I think it might just about carry this bunker, but it will be really close i'm actually going to play it on this side because i kind of i'm looking at that car path i'm looking at that car path maybe maybe no <laughs> no not with a swing like that and you know what guys that's why that's why I'm, i don't take many risks in this game because it just doesn't work out for me <laughs> normally it does work out for me normally when i just play safe you know lay back if i have to it's not a terrible lie but i think because of the elevation i might have to go nine i might have to go nine here all right, let's see if this one gets up. Again, it's a pretty big slow. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It does get up there. It does get up there. It's going to leave us kind of a mid-range putt for the birdie. There's probably going to be a bit of turn in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These greens are tough. Let's see if we can make this one. I hit that pretty hard. But it is turning. It is turning. It's just not going to turn enough. Oh, that was really close. I actually thought that was going to do it. I thought that had the... Uh, I thought that I had the turn at the end, but I'm really liking this course. I'm really liking it. As as he said, it is challenging. It is challenging. Par 5, not a very wide kind of landing area here. Is this going to go too far as well? I'm going to give, give this a little bit of loft just in case. But uh, I didn't actually pull that one at all. Still wasn't too bad a swing plane though. So we are going to get away with it. We are going to be in the fairway on this par 5, which is surely the only possible way to reach this green. I wonder how much trouble you're in, actually, if you're in the rough. Like, look at that. That's 150 yards. So if you're in the rough for the second shot, you might not even be able to make it over there. Shall we go for it? Should we drive it? I don't think a driver gets up there. Should we go for an overpower? Let's do it. I, I mean, I messed up a risky shot on the previous hole, but there's not many stakes in this. Let's go for it. Just a 103. Not too much of an overpower, and it is going to be either in the bunker or the rough. Oh, did that plug? I think that plugged. Wow. Oh my goodness. It could have just rolled back in the bunker. It could have hit the rough. But instead, we're plugged in this bunker. And because of that, I think I can actually pitch this now. I think I should be able to pitch this out. All right. Okay, well, it didn't get out. I should—I actually should have hit that full. So uh, we're chipping in now for the birdie. And that's actually got a chance. Oh, it's just not turned to the right. It was a good effort. It was a good effort. But all right, no more risks, guys. Okay, like if, if, I, if I don't think it's going to make the green, I won't play the shot. Really good hole, though. Like massive kind of risk reward there. And again, it's an awkward one, this one, because... Again, if you hit it full with a driver, you're in the rough. So I'm going to dial it back a little bit. And that should be fine. That should be in the fairway. For the next shot. So remember to leave a like on the video, guys, if you enjoy what you see. And I do like just playing, you know, courses by community members. And it's nice to play, like, new ones as well, kind of as they come out. And, you know, check them out, see what they're all about. Oh, that was too slow. Yeah, I felt that straight away. Just too slow of a swing there. All right, well, it is on the green. We're going to have a, an uphill putt from there. Hopefully it's not too bad. No, it is. It's going to turn left at the start, and then it's going to quickly turn back to the right. That's what the grid lines are saying. It's not a bad effort. It's just going to turn a little bit too much. And it's another part. We're two under through six, but it is, it is a challenge, this one, for sure. And the bunkers as you said, are quite deep. Thankfully, for the most part, I've avoided them. Except for when I really went for it on that par 5. And, of course, we did get punished for that really hard because it plugged in there. So many of these holes so far, like, a full drive is so risky. Like, it, it really kind of messes with narrow fairways. I might just have to dial back again because I don't think that will get over this bunker. 
And I really need to be in the fairway here because it's a long, you know, it's a long par four. All right, pretty good swing. I'm, apparently I'm not playing for shanks at the moment, but that's really good distance. That is going to carry that first bunker and it's going to stay out to the right. It's a good shot. And we're going to need probably an eight iron to this one. Look at that green. You can see it already. Just don't want to be on the right, really, do we? On top of that slope. And we might be. We might be because I've hit that fast. That needs to catch this slope. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think it's just about, just about catches the slope. And it should be good now, unless that keeps going. All right. It ends up just about ends up being a good shot because I did play for the pull as I normally do, but I did hit that really fast. So we do have a putt for the birdie. Should turn out the hole, and it does. And we finally get another birdie. So I did do a, just a little bit of research, and that there is actually a real course called Arbitrace, but I don't think it's this one. I um, I kind of had a look at you know the course layout, the real courses layout, and you know the scorecard and the the pars with each hole didn't match up at all. So I'm assuming this is a whole kind of original course by Fisty Cuffs. And it's a pretty straight swing again. I guess I guess I'm not playing for shanks anymore. <laughs> I guess I can hit a, sw a straight swing plane now. Mostly, I mean the swing plane is not very straight, but and once again the green is very slopey. You don't want to be long here, really. You just don't want to be long because you'll be putting down a really steep slope. I've yeah, I felt that. I felt that, and I think we're going to be in the bunker now. Yeah, well, thankfully we're not plugged, but. It's a deep bunker. We are in there. What's a flop looking like? We could flop it. I mean, with a splash, I'm not sure if that's going to get out. You know, that's quite it's quite high up. It's a tough shot for a splash. So I think I am going to flop this. We just about get it. That needs to sit. Come on, sit. Okay, it did. That's the good thing about flops. Flops do sit a little bit quicker than splashes do. Just a little bit of break in this one and we get it. It's a good, uh, good birdie save in the end. <laughs> Playing out of that deep bunker there. So we're four under through eight. That's pretty good on this course. I will I'll I'll take that. Alright, I'm a little bit between clubs here again. I think eight iron will be okay. I'll give it a bit of loft and let's see how this goes. Definitely a better swing. That looks really good actually. That looks really good. Go on, get in. First ace. First ace. Oh my goodness, guys. We're so close. So close. I thought I had it. I thought I had my very first ace on the game, but it just turns away at the end. Wow. I'm still looking for it. I haven't aced in this game yet. I've got an albatross, which uh, I think I've got the clip saved. I, I do want to post that on here as a short because it happened on stream. So yeah, I have the albatross, but I haven't got an ace yet. That is the closest I've come. That is the closest by far. So once again, we're looking at like maybe a full driver going too far. All I'm going to do here is play it into the wind. I'm a little bit conscious of that water on the left. Ooh, and just as well because I've hit a shank and a slow. But I was aiming right for that very reason. So it's all good. It's all good. We're in the fairway. I can't believe how close that was, man. That, uh, that par 3 shot. A gap wedge I think will be fine. It will be low of the hole, probably. But that means it's an uphill putt. And that's a good swing. That's about what I'm going for there. I actually hit a 98%er there. Wow, that would have been right on top of the flag if I hit 100. But that's still good. That should be an easy part. And it is. Another birdie. We're on a roll here. Four in a row. And again, it, the fairway kind of... Well, the fairway's kind of narrow the whole way. But it, it will be a little bit safer to, to dial this back. I might just do that. I might just play a little bit of a partial again. I did try to take risks, you know. I did try two holes in a row. That might actually be too long. I might have messed up there. Okay, I messed up there. I messed up. Even when I play safe, I mess up. <laughs> I'm actually in a really bad spot now. That was not a good layup at all. Poor decision. All right, we're going to have to hit a four iron. I'm going to try my best to just fade this round and hopefully it gets up. I think I need to club up again, you know. I'm going to hit this with a three. I mean, it's a good swing. I'm not sure if that came off the uh, the tree there or not. I don't think it did. 
but three iron is just not going to get the the height so it does come down and once again we're playing out of a deep bunker i think i'm going to have to flop this again and i should get down that hill it does roll down from there all right good shot should be should be a par save and it is yeah good save again from the bunker good scrambling I'd like to keep the bogeys off the card this round if I can. But yeah, definitely a challenging course. The fairways are narrow, and I, I do like it. It looks it looks really nice, this course. There, there, there's always a water hazard. <laughs> I think every hole so far has had a slight water hazard on it somewhere. All right, par three again. Let's go for an ace again, shall we? And uh, no shank, and I did still fast it, which doesn't work in my favor. That might go left from there, though. I think it does roll left from there, maybe? Uh, not quite. I mean, it's coming back a little bit. It's not bad. I think there is going to be, yeah, some turn at the start of this one. Oh, I think we just haven't. Yeah, it was really close. Really close. But it just turned a little bit too much at the start. So it is a par. Well, we had, we had four in a row, and uh, <laughs> we're just uh, back to pars again now. And exactly where my driver carry is, it, it narrows out again. There is water, and there's a tree on the other side as well. I'm going to go for this one, though. And I think that's going to be fine. It's going to be close to the water. But it's well aimed in the end. Aimed it a little bit right to uh, play for the shank and the slight slow. So it's a good shot, really, because that was very narrow, that area. We're going to hit a sandwich here. We're going to hit a sandwich. And that's a pretty good swing. That should be close. That should check up very, very quickly. It's got a chance, actually. It's checked up immediately. But that's a good shot. It's a really good shot. And it is a birdie. 7 under through 12. 7 under through 13, excuse me. So we have 5 left. Let's go for double figures. Double figures. Double figures is always like a, a nice target for these ones. Interesting hole. It's a relatively short par 4. It's not reachable. Not with this wind. And uh, there's actually this whole bit of fairway that's kind of on the side of the green. But I think... I actually think this landing area is long, wider. Let's go this way. I think, I think it's better to go this way. Perfect tempo. We get the pull. <laughs> and uh, that's actually carrying a little bit further than I thought. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I want from there. All right, bit of a misjudgment then. It was better to go that way. I just needed to not hit that full... So I think Lob Wedge here will be fine. Well, perfect tempo. How about that? And there you go. It is going to roll out a little bit. There is an uphill slope there. It's a good chip. I think it just about got up. Just a little bit of turn in this one. Good birdie in the end. I mean, you should be birdieing a hole that's that long anyway, a par four like that. But uh, we had to make up for it on the second shot from the rough. And it was a decent chip. And again, a choice to make. I, I, I like the courses that you've got to make decisions, you know? It's not just, okay, there's a fairway. It's the same, like, width the whole way. There aren't any bunkers in play. Just hit it full, and there you go. You know? This one has choices. I could have gone right there. Like, the longer hitters might be able to go right of those bunkers. But on most of these tee shots, there is a decision, you know? I mean, you can hit it full, but it's a risk, because... If you lay up a little bit, the fairway is wider. And normally I like hitting the wider bits of fairway. I think a pitching wedge will be fine. I think it will. I'm going to give it the slightest bit of D-loft. Like, barely any D-loft there. It's a good swing. It was what I was aiming for. And that does look good. It is going to get up there. And that is a really good shot. It's a tough green again. Like, all the greens here are quite tough, you know, if you're not, if you're not really close to the hole. And we do go 9 under. I'm quite happy with this score, honestly. Because, like, I don't think these holes are too long for the most part. But the fairways are quite narrow. And as someone who does struggle to hit the ball straight, you know, these courses can quite often mess me up. But I'm doing okay here. As I said, I have been a little bit better since I've been intentionally playing for that shank. This is a really interesting par 5. Like, you have to shape this. You have to shape this 100%. Uh, I don't think there's any laying up on this one. It's a par 5. I might as well go for this. And in, is that ball going to come back round enough? It's actually not going to carry as much as I thought. 
but I think that works out in my favour. Or is it gonna go in the rough? No, it does roll out. That's a good shot in the end. If that if that fall carried onto the fairway, I was thinking it might actually roll into the rough. I like this little uh, lofted area for the green as well. Well, you do not want to be in that bunker, do you? Be struggling from there. Three iron. If I hit it well, that should ish, that should reach the pin. I think with the wind, with the wind helping me. Okay, well, I didn't shank it, but still, that should go left. Is that going to go left? No, it's going to carry on. Get on the green. I want that to get on. Okay, cool. And the reason I wanted that to get on is because this is uphill from down here. So it's not going to be an easy putt, obviously, but it should be a two putt. Yep, it's going to turn left. Wow, that turned way harder. I needed to give that way more. Good power, though. It's not gone too far away. And it is going to be a body. I don't think we're going to get any eagles on this round, sadly. But it's just been solid. You know, pars and 10 birdies. Now, where do I put this, though, I wonder? Like, I think I just dial this one back a bit again. I don't really want to aim, like, out here. Because it's further away from the hole. And also, if I mess that up, I could be f even further away in the rough. But it's really not a long hole. I'm, I'm going to dial this one back. And that should be fine. That's going to go left of that tree. Yeah. I'm, I'm mostly a safe player and I took two risks earlier in the round and neither of them paid off. So, uh, yeah, you know. I do try sometimes, you know. Or well, playing safe. Playing safe and smart as a player that can't hit the ball straight all the time. I don't think a lob wedge is going to quite reach the hole. So let's hit a sand wedge here. little partial sand wedge. No shanking a little bit far, so that is going to stay out to the right. So we're still going to have a little bit of work to do. It does roll left from there, so it's not too bad. And let's see if we can get to, what is this, 11 under now? Yeah, 11 under. I think we've got it. Oh, just about. It turns left ever so slightly at the hole. And we are on a run at the end here. Five birdies in a row. 11 under. I mean, I'll absolutely take that. We have a chance for 12. What does the last hole have in store for us? This is reminding me of some of those really difficult, like, Tiger Woods PGA Tour courses. This reminds me a little bit of Emerald Dragon. The way you really have to kind of fade the ball on these shots, you know, <laughs> and the really narrow fairways. It, kind of, it reminds me a little bit of Emerald Dragon. Let me know if you agree with that, especially the version of Emerald Dragon in this game by Alan Greenspun. Well, I, th I think I'm just going to have to full drive this. What, what else can I do? The ball is going to roll out into the rough if I aim there. All right, pretty good swing. We get the pull and the fast cancels it out. Now, is this going to run out of room on this fairway? I don't think it is. I think that's a perfect tee shot. Yeah, that's as good as you can do. So we're going to have a clean shot to this pin, 16 feet down, and the headwind. I think this goes... I think this gets to gets to the pin. Oh, that was not a good swing though. Not a good swing. Too fast. Too fast. And we're going to be punished with a bunker shot on the last. All right, we're going to have to work for the uh, the bogey free card now because this isn't really flop range either. I'm going to have to splash this out of here. It is going to get out. It is going to get out. It's going to sit by the pin. All right, good save. We were good out of the bunkers today. When we were in the bunkers, we scrambled well, got it out, got it up and down in two shots every single time. So uh, sadly, the, uh, the final shot to the hole there wasn't a good one. So we do finish with a par, but that's a good round, guys. 11 under there. I, I really like that course. I really like that course. I think I'm going to think I'm going to give that one a favorite. Good, good work from uh, Fisty Cuffs 25 on that one. Definitely get out there and play it. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it a rated, ha a rated handicap. Yeah, I think that's got 218 plays so far. I mean, I liked it. I like the difficulty. Honestly, I don't think it was anything too unfair either. Let's confirm. Hell yeah, five stars. All right. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe to the channel to see more from me. And until the next video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.